Hey everyone, so the other day I was, you know, um, on YouTube and I was looking up music videos and I stumbled upon Kesha's We Are Who We Are music video um, and I loved her makeup in it. Like, the makeup, she always has like crazy makeup, but just, it was really, really cool in that video and this was the first look that she is seen in when you see in the video when she first walks out this is what she's wearing or at least my interpretation of what she's wearing this is by no means the exact makeup that she has on in the video but this is kind of just you know I saw it and this is kind of what I pulled together from watching the video um, yeah so I just thought it was really fun and I love the stuff like on the eyebrows I think that's fun and uh, I think it's just a really fun look um, probably not an everyday look but I I think it's fun to do kind of crazy looks like this every once in a while. Alright, I'm going to stop talking so we can go ahead and see how I did this look. Alright, so first thing that we're going to do is prime our lids and I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion and this is just the original one and this is going to help our look last all day long. And I'm going to first just apply it to my lid and then I'm going to blend it out all over my lid all the way up to the brow in the inner corner and then a little bit underneath now that we have our eyes um, primed we're gonna go ahead and apply a base and um, the base I'm applying is by NYX and it's their jumbo eye pencil in the color black bean it's just the black one mine's really dirty because I use it all the time and I'm just gonna apply this and this stuff is very very creamy so I'm just gonna apply it on my lid kind of very randomly and then blend it out with my finger or a brush just whatever you prefer So I'm blending it out all over my lid and into my crease. Alright, now that we have our base now down, we are going to put a kind of a silver color on um, wherever we put this black base. And you know, the purpose of putting the black base on there is that it's really going to make the silver pop and just make it look really bright and really gorgeous. So the color I'm using is from NYX's Smoky Eye Palette. And it's this color right here. And I'm just applying it with a flat shader brush. So load up your brush, tap off any excess, and apply this all over where you put the black. So all over the lid, outer corner, and the crease, kind of everywhere. All right, now we're going to move on to the Crazy Winged Eyeliner. And for eyeliner, I'm going to be using a cream eyeliner. I'm using my L'Oreal's Hip Cream Eyeliner in black. And you can get this at a drugstore. I really love it. And to apply, I'm using my small angled brush, my E65, from Sigma. Looks like that. Now, first load up your brush with some eyeliner. And then for the first part of this, I'm going to go from the very outer corner of my eye and go straight out to where my eyebrow like ends. Kind of if you did it at an angle, kind of do it like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is take from, like, if you took this brush and you put it straight up in the outer corner of your eye, wherever that spot is that's straight up from that, that we, um, where we stopped putting the eyeshadow, like at the top of your crease, is where we're going to come from. So put it there and then bring it out to meet the other one, the other line. And then kind of it up. Alright, now once you have the main lines down, we're just going to fill it in with the eyeliner.
Also, we're going to act like this is our outer corner color. So we're going to put it kind of in the outer corner. Kind of make a crescent shape. And then we're going to take that color or that eyeliner and then just go ahead and line our eyes. Alright, now what we're going to do is get a little bit of the eyeliner and we're going to kind of put it into our crease just right here. And then we're also going to bring it right by the inner corner. Kind of start where the tear duct is but go up and then bring it in. Does that make any sense? Probably not. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this part out. Just this edge and kind of bring it over into the crease, kind of just pulling it in. And do the same with it from the front. But don't touch this outer wing because we want it to still... Um, we want it to be very defined, but the inside we want to make sure it's blended just a bit. Alright, now before we line our, like underneath our lash line, I'm going to go ahead and line the water line because it's a little bit easier to do that than after you already have, than after, to, than to do it after you've already put um, liner and stuff underneath your lash line. Alright, now after we have um, our waterline lined and then all of our top eyeliner done, we're going to line underneath our lower lash line. And to do that, I'm using a really, really thin brush. And it's really flat. Um, I got it, it's in like a little travel brush set, so I don't have like a specific name um, of a brush. But just anything that's really thin, just any, just any kind of small brush will work. And I'm going to dip it in that eyeliner and then put it on my lower lash line. Connecting it with the top part of that wing. Alright, now that we have our eyeliner down, we're going to go over wherever we put the black um, cream eyeliner with a green pigment. And I'm using Max Emerald Green um, pigment, which just looks like this really pretty dark green. Um, I'm not sure, this is just a little sample that I cannot remember where I got it from, but if I find out I'll put it in the bottom bar, like a link to where you could find it. But um, yeah, but this is just like a little sample of it and I don't know, I kind of feel like this is a pro color that like you can only get it if you have a pro card, but I'm not completely sure. Um, but just any kind of dark green color will work. And I'm going to take that same um, thin brush we used to line the lower lash line um, to apply the green pigment. And I'm just going to apply this wherever there's black eyeliner. All right, now that we've applied the green, I'm just gonna take that big blending brush we were using earlier and kind of just blend out this green so it's not so vibrant, it's a little bit darkened. All right, now that we're done with the eyeshadows and the eyeliner, all that business, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some glitter and just kind of put it all over just to give me a really nice glittery um, shine, I guess. And I'm using Max Glitter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just, 
I'm just going to take a Q-tip and stick it in there and just get some glitter on it and then kind of put it all over my eye. Now if you want more glitter, like my green, it's like falling everywhere right now. Um, Alright, now that we have our glitter on, we're going to go back to the palette we were using in the very beginning, the Smoky Eyes palette. I'm going to take the same flat shader brush I was using and just get some more of that um, silver color and apply it right to the center of my lid, just kind of to brighten it up a little bit. Like that. And then... Then I'm going to flip it over to the other side and get some of this color right here, this kind of bright color, and use it as a highlight. Like so. Now I'm going to go apply my false lashes and I will be right back. Alright, now we are going to move on to the fun part of this tutorial, which is kind of the mosaic looking things above her eyebrows which I think are really neat and um, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to use for it but I decided the best place to go to look for stuff would be Michael's craft store so any kind of craft store I'm sure you could find something similar to what I used and what I used are these mosaic stickers um, I don't know if that's the brand or what but they look like this and they're just gold and they're adhesive and I've tried them and they don't hurt when you put them on your skin and when you take them off it's not like really really painful which is good but they do stay on but they're not too sticky that they hurt when you try to pull them off which is really good because I was so afraid when I put that on there that they were gonna be really painful when I pulled them off but um, they're fine so this if you can find this kind um, it works very very well um, but if like if you try them and you just like put it on your hand and it like you pull it off and it hurts really bad because it's super super sticky what I suggest doing is maybe taking the little uh, mosaic thing and cutting like most of the time the thing the sticker is going to be on is going to be backed by like cardboard or paper that the adhesive is stuck to so what you can do is just take some scissors and cut it like around it so you still have the paper on the back and then just take some lash glue and put that on there and you know lash glue is safe enough and it's gentle enough for your skin so try that if your um, adhesive ones are too like too sticky there's too much stickiness on them that they hurt when they um, when you pull them off but um, if you can find this kind um, they don't hurt which is awesome okay so what I'm going to do is just grab them and start putting them right on your eyebrow and try to follow the shape of your eyebrow. Oh, and it's really funny because my... For some reason my eyebrows have always been at different lengths on my head, like different heights on my head. So you can really, really tell when I have these things on here because this eyebrow is so much like higher than this one so it looks a little bit funny but um, oh well. <sighs> Alright so that's it for the crazy little eyebrow stuff. So let's go ahead and move on to blush and lips. Alright for like her blush and her lips are pretty light looking in the video because you know her eyes are so dramatic and they're kind of you want them to be the focal point of the look so you want everything else to be kind of toned down and just pretty natural so she just has a really light natural pink flush of blush so I'm going to be using NYX's mosaic blush in the color rosy and these are so neat I love these. They look so pretty. I'm applying it with my F40 um, brush from Sigma. Then for lips, I'm going to be using Angel Lipstick by MAC, which is just a really pretty light pink.
And then over top of that, I'm using Max Lip Gloss in Under Age, which is just a really soft light pink. Alright, so that's it for this Kesha inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, um, oh, and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway soon. I'll talk about it. Maybe I might do, like, give it its own video to talk about it. Or I might just, like, throw it at the end of one of my videos. So, um, just keep a lookout for that. And I think it's a really great prize. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!